Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play Ace Attorney Investigations to Miles Edgeworth, the prosecutor's path. My name is Flutus Bird. This is your story based gaming channel, and today, today, my dear friends, we are continuing our journey here in case number three, the inherited turnabout. And right now, we are questioning Catherine Hall as this case gets further and further interesting with all the things that are going on i think i have flip-flopped my theories back and forth like four or five times now which means this case is doing a great job in keeping me on my toes and i really really like that i, I think you kind of need that in a game like this you need to have uh, a bunch of different suspects that you could think who did it because if it's obvious who the criminal is then it's not as interesting i mean i could make a case that katrin did it uh delicia did it Dane did it. Uh, I mean, you could even argue Jeffrey did it, although we probably know Jeffrey didn't do it uh, based on how the games have played. But we have three legit uh, people who could have done it. Right now, I'm thinking it's probably uh, Gustavia that murdered Dover and trained Master. And uh, Captain Hall is... Is possibly working with Delicia to get back at Gustavia um, and that's what's happening here in this you know 18 years later hopefully we'll find out more about the truth about what happened as we question Catherine uh, so let's dive into it shall we I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Uh, the poison gas trap. How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? My, so you know what happened 18 years ago? It's because 18 years ago I photographed Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Replicas? The Zodiac sculptures. I've been unfinished work, so I want to complete it somehow. Because I am the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures. And could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Do they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. She is obviously lying, but I haven't gathered any evidence to prove that yet. Uh, well, can we present some evidence to her? Uh, we'll probably start further back. I don't know. Oh, look at her dancing. A whole lot. <laughs> About the case. Ding. Ah! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Why is Gay singing along with her? I want to see Edgeworth just bust out in song. And I just love the, the random sound effects. It's just absolutely amazing. Oh, and I'm also like the fact that I'm on a uh, sort of vacation right now and able to rest up after a very 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 busy last month so I am I am so ready just uh just to jump back into playing games that I love with you guys and having conversations with you guys about the games I love what kind of methods for medicine preparation are described in the angels recipe it contains many ways of preparation so I can't explain them all in such a short time. Although, if you really want to know, I can tell you. It will take about two hours, though. I can tell you every one of them while matching the melody. Let's start my explanation. What should we do? Listen to all of it? No, that would be necessary. <laughs> Okay, now the mouth of poison gas. I have a feeling I have some evidence that I need to find while exploring this room and then come back to her. 
that's a special flesh of cloth. I received from Madame Delicia. Could you tell me how many claws she gave you? Uh, there were four. The Autumn Palace also had four flesh claws. But I feel like I saw one more. It seems she is hiding something. Nothing for the flame floor. Is that what this thing is? Yeah, use gas burner. Alright. Art Kelly pamphlet. There we go. What is a great actress like you doing as a curator of an art gallery? Deep down, I didn't think there was much of a difference. Films, musicals, sweets, singing, sculptures. It's all the same. At the end of the day, all artists are strive for the same goal. To move the human heart. Is Luis trying for that too? Mm, of course not. He's not an artist. He's Larry. <laughs> Be nice, Edgeworth. Come on, buddy. Be nice. For Monsieur Edgeworth's son to have become a great pasquetteur, I'm sure there must have been some awful circumstances to it. Yes. A lot has happened, although I cannot talk about the details right now. Haha! -ha. Monsieur Edgeworth, you really take after your father. Even if your profession is different, I'm sure you're as excellent as he was. Well, that's what I aspire to be, but... My father would always face his work with an unwavering conviction. Even now, I am still lost regarding the question of what my past should be. Okay, did that pop anything? No, it did not. Yeah, as I said, I think there's some evidence around this area that we haven't found yet. There are statues a couple- Okay, we've seen this before. There's a vase of tulips in front of the door. Probably, because this is a spring palace. You know, speaking of spring, it's the moving season. People who have just moved are always let the guard down. So it's also thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think burglary is a little beneath you? Ugh, you're right. Good, let's keep her out of jail, shall we? There's a vase of sunflowers in front of the store. Probably because this is a summer palace. You know, speaking of summer, it's bonus season. That wall is stuffed with cash, which means it's also thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think pickpocketing is a little beneath you? <laughs> I love how we're getting different thief responses here. Let's continue them, shall we? I won't talk to anyone else, I just want to click the doors. There's a maple tree in front of the store, but that door leads to the Winter Palace. Maple trees are autumn trees, so this must have a place where has a red herring. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Edward saying that. Well then, how about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in the winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. So the, the trees were switched. There's a fir tree in front of the store. But that door leads to the autumn palace. Fir trees are winter trees. Fir trees are winter trees. So this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we play it? Why don't we paint it in autumn red? Okay, <laughs> fir trees are green all year round. Huh? I, I knew that. <laughs> Have we examined this? Yes, we have. Have we talked to Delicia? Oi! How's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Oi! Not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it wrong! Oi! Is he's only one who's showing something, someone something? Also, yes, C is used to confirm. He's also greeting. E is used when you're afraid. P! Is used when you don't like something. Oi! Is used when you're calling someone. How do you say oi and oi? Aren't they the same? Or is it oye? Hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi, oi! Mr. Edgeworth, did you catch all that? B, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, be more serious. Yes, yeah, see. <laughs> it's a statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was this also made by Pierre Huppé? It appears to be one of his early works, when he was enamored with fantasy and myth. 
The statue represents his reward resolution to oppose hopeless difficulties in his youth. The title is The Math Test. I know that I feel like all too well. Okay, that's the same. And that's the same. Larry, tell me what you're hiding. Heal the deeds. Hmm? You two, stop glaring at each other like that. I'm not glaring, Kitty. I'm using my artist's perspective. Edge is the one who's glaring. Then, if you know what's good for you, you will tell me what you're hiding right now. No way, dude! Did I say that I'm not talking to you anymore? Aren't you talking to me right now? Eh, from now on! From now on, I'm definitely not talking to you anymore. Hmm, I'm not going to get anywhere like this. Looks like I'll have to force it out of him. Are you hiding something? Larry, what are you hiding? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh. Hey, come on, Mr. Edgeworth. This isn't the time to be playing in all the dots contest, you know? Hmm. I wasn't playing around. Still, it looks like Larice won't be talking anytime soon. If he isn't going to talk to us willingly, I'll just have to force him to talk. Just what is Larry hiding? Perhaps I should investigate a bit more. Should continue investigating around the fat and patio. Did we find something around there? Let's talk to him last. Now uh, we'll go around and explore because we know we have to do something with him to advance the story. So there's still all this other stuff around us. I feel that your conduct thus far has been completely out of line. I will make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're going to be doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, this is the only sort of increase my fame as a great thief. <laughs> oh, she got Courtney speechless. That's great. It seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. <laughs> Mr. DeBest, you're getting a bit in the way if you stand here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to move. Just do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best for you just stand over there. The best you say. Okay, I'll go stand over there. So, anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. <laughs> On the shelf are trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hockey. He truly was a first-rate artiste. There are quite a number of trophies lined up here. I remember you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I would love to have some too. If only there were a contest with these. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold one at the prosecutor's office. Hmm, I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. It looks like this elevator is for authorized personnel only. What do you think is uh, on the second floor? I heard it's the infirmary. Mr. Gustavia should be there right now, receiving medical treatment. I sure hope he's okay. We still need to talk with him once he regains consciousness. There's nothing we can do until he recovers. For now, we should find something else to do. The prosecutor did the best, ordered me not to let you investigate anything else but this room. I absolutely cannot let you pass through any further than this. I'm sorry. I won't. Since I can't pass through anyway, you're standing in front of a wall. No! After all, you're Prosecutor Edgeworth. If you really want to, this wall wouldn't stop you. Absolutely. You better believe it. Wow! You're even more fierce than I thought, Mr. Edgeworth. Just what kind of human do these people think I am? <laughs> Can I look at the trophies? On the shelf are trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hoquet. He truly was a first-rate artist. 
Uh, quite an oh, okay, I've already seen that. Never mind. Hmm. This lift trolley has been just left here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy? The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Hmm, I have never seen this little trolley. Some place for food. You mean during the IS-7 incident? Well, ah, that's right. I remember now. It was in the Dover's room. If I remember correctly, it was used to transport the ice sculptures. So this trolley has a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person can move the sculptures all by themselves. But how do you put it back? I mean, yeah, it, it would seem, I mean, you could move things by themselves, but you wouldn't be able to place things by yourself. I mean, because then you're basically dropping the giant ice sculpture into a, uh, into a box. And it would break, right? I mean, you would need, like, fine delicacy and, and, uh, careful movements. 18 years ago, Dover used this to carry his ice sculptures. The surface of the platform is wet. Wow, how convenient. I want one too. So, the fact that it's wet means that something melted on it? Ah, why is there a lit trolley here? I guess it's something we'll need to think about. Yes, it could be related to the case. Have we talked to him yet? Hey, Miles, how's the investigation going? Well, little by little, I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Uncle Ray may not fall behind either. You know, I just noticed there's a giant blob of something on the floor uh, just to the south of us. I'll need to check that in a second. About the two cases. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. Hmm, ah, the only family that Mr. Dover had was young son. His son? Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. Right to that case, they both went missing. Wait, what? What? And they haven't been found yet? Well, I haven't heard any news about Mr. Gustavia's son being found. How did both the kids go missing? But as for Mr. Dover's son, he was found and his inheritance was delivered to him. And because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. Well, that way, they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The autopsy report has also been forged, so nobody put the defense ever found out. Von Karma, you would go that far. You know, part of me wants to say that. No. I, I was gonna say, part of me wants to say that uh, the killer, or the attempted killer of Gustavia, is actually the son of Dover. But I don't remember seeing anyone who could possibly be his son in this case. Like, if I look at the profiles here, I mean, which one of these people could possibly be his son? And there is none. Uh, this was 18 years ago. And the picture is of elementary school. Which means the kids are probably what? Seven? Let's say there's seven. Maybe eight. Let's say they're eight. So that means the kid would have to be about 26 years old, right? And yet there is... There is no one who is 26 years old. Okay! Uh... If he's a son of Dover... That would be the world's greatest twist. And that would make him a legit person who could have done this out of vengeance. Yeah, I mean, it could have happened. But then again, we know Larry was best friends with, uh, with Phoenix and Edgeworth in grade school. 
Maybe it transferred into the grade school after this incident, and that's when he disappeared. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 okay, um. In terms of the craziest theories I've ever thought of, this may be up there as one of the craziest theories. Has anyone, okay, you guys in my audience, um, my awesome number one community, YouTube comedian, all of YouTube, has anyone ever theorized that Larice Daunim, or Larry Butts, is actually the secret son of Dover. I wanna know, has anyone ever thought that except me? Because that, that, that was the thing that just happened. Anyway, um, she's not 26. She's who knows, but we know she's not 26 uh, because she was at the last contest. Uh, he's definitely not 26. Uh, it's not Dick Gumshoe, he's not 26. Not K. It could be Courtney. But the problem with Courtney is, uh, I mean, the obvious, which is she's not male. Um, it, I mean, it could have happened that she completely changed her identity and became female. And uh, it's possible, just not likely. Not as likely as Larry, um, but it's possible. Definitely has Sebastian. So I have as a possible theory that the, the, the child of Dover went for vengeance. And the child of Dover is either uh, Justine Courtney, who changed her identity completely, or Larry Butts. Wow, um, I don't I don't know what's going on in my brain right now, but I'm just going to leave this be. I, I, I do want to show him evidence, but I want to check out whatever this is first. Hmm, this smell and this color. Don't tell me this is a puddle of tea. Huh? There's a piece of pottery in the middle of the puddle. Uh, pH? Pottery shard died down in my organizer. Found in the puddle of tea. The design looks familiar. Yeah, it's, it's definitely familiar. I wonder what broke. I think I recognize the design. Should probably show this to that man and see what he has to say. Okay, so that's the PO play. Um, so with that man, I'm assuming he's talking about uh, Larry. Huh? I feel like I've seen this design somewhere before. Isn't it Pierre Hoquet's the sculptor and signature? I wonder why this was dropped in a puddle of tea? Why do I get the feeling I know who's behind this? Why was it dropped in a puddle of tea? Good question. It was like, it, uh, yeah, the teacup was dropped. All right, let's uh, show him all our evidence. We'll start with the most recent and work our way back. It would help if I press the right button too. Ah, ha, ha, this, eh? This evidence holds the so-called key to the case, right? Er, it's possible. Yep, ah, they help, then hold on to it closely. Hurry, hurry, put it away. He doesn't think much about this. Okay, so now we know what the, uh, what the, you know, this doesn't help me dialogue line is. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the newer evidence... Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, this one sure takes me back. If you've noticed anything strange about it, I'd like you to tell me. I've been thinking about this case for the past 18 years. I don't think I'm going to conveniently notice something strange all of a sudden. But you might be able to, Miles. Hmm. You're talking all cool, but you pretty much have nothing to say, right? Hey, <laughs> did you notice? <laughs> It seems a lot has come to nothing. So, he has two lines of dialogue. New evidence and old evidence. It's called the Angel's Recipe because it contains the recipes for many miraculous medicines. Is there any medicine in particular that you're interested in? Uncle Ray? Well, not really. How would you, Kay? I love a medicine that made me a genius or turned invisible or given the ability to fly. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind the ability to fly. I mean, it'd be nice if uh, the good old flightless bird uh, wasn't so flightless anymore. Aren't you expecting a little too much from a medicine? Ah, ha ha! Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the sketch. 
We never did manage to find the place of cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Isn't it weird for something uh, that stands out like that to just disappear? So the question becomes, was it overlooked or was it hidden, right? By someone. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't forget it. I just like to go, ah, ha, 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 ha. The I, <clears throat> I think I have saved an incident. Sure it was a faithful case. At least it was so Uncle Bay. For me as well, did you forget? I've been thinking a lot about the IS-7 incident. Hey, don't you think that uh, it'd be better to abbreviate it as IS-6... Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know how to say that. The IS is incident? Like, I don't want to say the ISS is it because that would be the International Space Station. Let me try it. Let me try this one more time. Ah, don't you think it'd be better to abbreviate it as the IS-6 is incident? The IS is... Incident. Oh my god, I can't say that. Oh, then what about the sweet incident? Or perhaps the cold case? Ooh, I like that one. Ah, which one should we decide on? It's quite a dilemma, eh? Sometimes, I don't know how seriously it takes things. Okay, nothing on this one either. And this is the IS-7 incident. I never would imagine that you'd end up becoming a prosecutor. Hmm, I'm sorry. Ah, no, no, I'm not blaming you. You have your own reasons behind it as well, right? But, uh, standing in the courtroom as a prosecutor is the same as doing as a defense attorney. It's, uh, something I would like you to experience just once. You know, as a defense attorney. There was actually a time when I stood in the courtroom as a defense attorney. It definitely didn't feel bad at all. Yeah, I remember that. He did a good job, too. Alright, nothing new with this one. So the person that we're supposed to show this to is obviously the Reese, right? Uh, because I'm pretty sure this is the thing we're supposed to show, let's go from left to right this time. Although, we should normally go left to right anyway, because left is always right. Alright, what well, helps once again if I press the right button? Hmm. That's it? Just all the dots? Larry? Okay, can I say this? I have said before that I think Larry is like one of the most annoying characters in this series. And he has grown on me lately. But still, whenever something stinks, it's always followed by the butts. It's just the way it is. And I have said time and time again that I can't really stand Larry being around. But you know what? I think in this one moment, in this one second an infinite universe of seconds that Larry has instantly become the greatest character in Ace Attorney. That's right, Larry Downey, my friends, for at least one second a moment of time is the best character in the history of games because his one response is all the dots. Yes, yes! <laughs> Larry, take a look at this. Eh. Oh, what's it? Larry, I've got a feeling that what you're hiding is related to the tea in this pottery shard. Eh. Well, if you're not going to talk to me, I can always hand this shard over to Judge Courtney. Ah, wait. Trying to keep a clean image for Jesty. I don't want to see how I've dirtied myself. I can't imagine what part of you can be considered clean, but... <laughs> if you don't want her to declare you guilty, I suggest you speak truthfully now. I... I got it. I tell you. I need something. And once I've kind of like evolved with the all of the dots as well. So, instead of saying all the dots every single time I see dots lately, I'll probably say it like once or twice in the episode. Um, and then the other times I'll be like, eh, or hmm, or Arr. I don't know. I like the yellow dots better, but it's a way to keep it special. If you overuse something, it it loses its meaning, I guess. And in the early 999 days, uh, there were a ton of dots all over that. I mean, Uchikoshi loves his dots. Anyway, I've talked about dots way too much. Uh, Larry, it's time you confess to what you've done. Ugh, I can be so cruel to your best friend. 
Hmm. The same way you can be so dishonest to your best friend. Well, to stop glaring at me. I promise to tell you the truth this time for sure. I, uh, I just thought I poured Jesse some tea. But, uh, my hand kind of slipped a bit. And it broke. I accidentally broke the crazy expensive tea box! The bird strikes again. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Oh boy, you've really done it this time, Luis. Well, what should I do, Angie? I, I, Kitty will eat me! Crying to me about it won't solve anything. First, we should apologize to Miss Hall. Aww. I will say, he does have a good heart. He's got a lot of issues with him. But he's got a good heart, right? I mean, ha has that ever been a doubt? I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's some weird things that he said to certain people. Granted. But I don't think he would ever act in a way that would be um, uncouth or or uh or aggressive i mean he he likes to talk a lot but yeah I, i'm just saying i don't think he would ever do something to harm someone that, that's not in his nature is that so my teapot was heck mm -mm. katie i'm so sorry i don't have any money but I'll draw as many portraits of you as you like. Please, kindly raise your hand, Monsieur. It is I should apologize. I didn't notice the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Oh, that's a little bit suspicious. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's work? I heard that was very important to you. Yes, but there's no use kind of a spilt tea. Oh, that, that's a really cool variation on that expression. Besides, I still have another one of those teapots left. Is she, st is she not as attached to Dover's works as she should be? Ah, Katie, so kind. Oh, well that other teapot you were talking about, is it the one on the cart? Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be using the, uh, the not Larry voice when he's talking to Katie. My bad. Yes. The truth is, when I was trying to hide the book of shards, I looked under that card. And I found a teapot that looked exactly the same, so I switched them. Larry switched the book and teapot with another teapot. Huh. There's something behind this. My, my guess is that there was something in that teapot that Catherine didn't want us to know about. So like she served the tea and then hid the teapot. I don't know why I'm going with this. What would she put in the tea that would be... Because she's... If she was the one who tried to kill... uh to kill, um, Gustavia. Why use tea? Because she used poison gas. Unless there were two people trying to kill him and she tried to poison him and then the poison gas. I don't know, that seems a little bit of a, that seems a little bit of a stretch. Really? Yeah, everything's cool now. I took great care to make sure that no one would break the pot. You, don't brag about that when you were the one who broke it in the first place. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry! I don't mind. Thank you for your consideration. Angie! Katie is a really nice lady, isn't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. 
Ah, okay. Hmm. When I make it big as an artiste, I'll donate paintings. In fact, I'll even welcome you as own personal motto. I think it'd be better if you just stopped causing trouble. I hope you haven't done anything else. I haven't. I just stood around sketching beauties. Sketching beauties? Hmm. If you're interested, I can like to take a peek. I guess even Mr. Edgeworth is interested in beauties. Hmm. It's not like that. I just thought I might be one, another one of his strange paintings. How dare you! I'm very confident in my work this time. Oh, I want to see it too. Oh, I'm glad you're so honest about it, Kay. I'll get it ready. So, come check it out later. I guess I'll have him show it to me later. Sketching beauties. About that sketch you mentioned just now. Ah, wait! You want to see my art? You should have been honest about it from the start. Ah, look, here it is. Oh my god. Wait a second. Okay, I, I'm dazzled by like the top. And because of the text box, I didn't see it right away, but is that Delicia Scones getting rid of a blue flaw? What is up with that? What is this? I already told you, to sketch beauties. Ah, but just to be clear, beauty is only the first to Jesse Katie. That other plump lady has nothing to do with that. Wow, wow, Larry. Dude, come on. Well, then why don't you draw on the same page? Well, I was taking a break from my uh, still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I may have drawn them at different times. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful Liz and Miss K on another page. Can I see that? Wow, beautiful, huh? Eh, thanks. I want to see it. Larry, you do this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah. I mean, I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly. Even the delicate shades. I, I, uh, can we just stop for a second and say that Larry is a really good artist? Like... This is really good artwork. Delicate shades, huh? Hmm. I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of help to the investigation. The contents of this sketch in the service cart in the fountain patio. It seems there is a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Could I borrow this sketch for a while? Eh, yeah, sure. I could even sign it for you if you like. I think I'll pass. Sketch your beauties. Larry did a sketch just as he saw. Alright. Touch the check button for detail. Looks like that's all I can view. Yeah, Delicia is definitely doing something with a blue fluorescent cloth in the fountain. Absolutely. She's either taking the cloth out of the fountain, so the body was wrapped in the fluorescent cloth, or she's trying to put the fluorescent cloth in the fountain. I think she probably took it out. She's the one who probably dumped the body and then took the cloth. But he also mentioned the cart as well. And if I look at the cart... It looks like this cart and this cart are exactly the same cart. So something could have been hidden underneath that claw. But what do I do with this painting or this picture? I have a logic button, right? A mighty aroma. Normally, is a red liquid with a minty aroma. Uh, smells different from the tea we had this morning. Did something change? And the pasta switch, okay. Seems like this is the obvious answer. 
Maybe the reason why this same line tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Hey, really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change after all. Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Miss Hall. Was the reason why the same line tea smelled different was because the pots were switched? Yes. That's certainly possible. It had a fresh mint tea aroma. Not unlike that of uva tea. Ah, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. Tea has a mighty aroma because a different teapot was used. Hmm. Is that really all there is to it? So, power different aroma and mighty aroma. A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said the aroma was left over from the minty as she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot. And more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right. Normally it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? One of the characteristics of normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding normalium inside this teapot. What? Inside the teapot? It is only a possibility for now, but it's one worth investigating. Mr. DeBest, I assume you haven't found the normalium yet. Huh? Huh? Uh oh. I've had the entire art museum searched, but I haven't received any reports yet. And what about you? Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find it. Wait, what? <laughs> you have an idea where it is? Indeed. The that 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 tell me. It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh uh oh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Uh oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. That's a cool picture with everyone on the scene. I like that. Monsieur Edgeworth, is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth, surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having set off the poison gas? Hmm, I do. Setting up the poison gas traps in the Alta Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Felicia. I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found a malium in my teapot, there is no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Hmm. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. But is that true? I must find a way to shatter that excuse. Oh, hello. This is Edgeworth. Hey, it's Gumshoe, sir. Hey, Gummy. Did something happen? Well, actually, right now all the investigators but me have lit the window palace. You know, so I can finally tell you what we found. It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. The sculptures in the Wind and Palace are melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but 
You know, there's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. Huh? There's still liquid in the glass cases. Ah, yes, sir! We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but ah, uh, For uh, some reason, in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances? Ah, they consisted of uh, sugar, salt, and blood, sir! Hmm, blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked Forensic to look into it, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you, Detective. Well, that reminds me. Forensic's investigating the fountain patio? Contacted me. Seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that found in the light blue liquid. Oh? That sounds like valuable information. Liquid analysis results shot down. Analysis results of the liquid from the melted Gemini sculpture. Can I, uh, hold on. I wanna, I wanna read that one more time. Traces of salt, sugar, and blood detected. The sugar matches the light blue liquid found in Dover's room 18 years ago. The sugar found in the fountain also appears at the same composition. So what if the body was frozen and put out as a sculpture? And then someone dumped the sculpture into the liquid, which melted. Um, and then the body flew down the water with the with the cloth. And then Delicia scooped the cloth out of the fountain before anyone could find it. So no one would know. My brain hurts. <laughs> Is that all the new information you have for me? Ah, now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in here too! The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the IS-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. Well, you know, I have to go back to Miss Kenny now, sir! When we get the results of the blood test, I'll let you know right away! Yes, thank you, Detective. Gummy's the best, is he not? Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. Huh? In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Alright, guess we gotta do this again. Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, see, of course. Anything for Miley, K. Fay, Austin, whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. And stop calling me K. Fay. Aww. B. Well, that's out of the question. Can't you change the name I've already decided on? Ah, uh, even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. The decorations. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in this museum? Specifically, the fluorescent claws and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yes, yeah, see, of course I do. Cause they are presents that I gave to Katie. As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago, I gave her four rock salt lamps and four fluorescent cloths I used at the contest. Wow, that's so nice. Fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps? Ha ha ha! Seems like only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. Man, well, that's a cool thing to say. Miss Delicious, I like them too, you know. B! That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. <laughs> but back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Hmm? I can't even imagine it. Should I be worried that Delicia gave a nickname to Ray? That was a nickname I gave to Ray? Should I? I mean, does that mean I'm like that old lady? Anyway, <laughs> I just noticed that. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? 
Yeah, probably. The max of lamp, cloth, and the mighty middle light device. They all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have the feeling I saw one more of the same claw. It's true! Look, I got the proof I hear my back! What is she searching for? Not this! Not this either! Hmm, I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Let's show Delicia and have her confirm my suspicions. But first, let us, let's ask about sending off the poison back gas. I would like to ask you something since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Oh, well that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megatoxin X. It even says on the warning label, Danger! Knack makes normalium! Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Mm, well, it might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. The one that Cartoon Hall has access to. Since it also contains the recipe to prepare Megatox next. Ooh, interesting. Does this mean that you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yes, yeah, see, well that's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the Master Group. It's the company that makes a Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X, the cold medicine that promises to kill colds good. After Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. So, this woman is also part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Press the wrong button again! I keep pressing R1 to go to my organizer. Instead of X, or yeah, X to go to my uh, present. I almost said present. No, it's not present. Present. Oi! That thing you got there is rather cute, Miley! But the color is rather unappealing. Now, if I would coat it with fresh cream. Stop it! Okay, so nothing there. This sketch! Is this one called the Sketch of Beauties? Well, that's what the one who drew it called it. Although it seems you were excluded from it. <laughs> Was that boy perhaps Larisse? I'd love to chat with him on one on one later. Hmm, it would be my pleasure to introduce you. Haha. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you are making an awful evil face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. You've also read the Angel's Recipe, right? Of course. I may look like this, but I'm an ace pharmacist. Well, that's amazing. An ace pharmacist? That's been my lifelong dream. Oh, that's been my long felt dream. That's right. That's right. At least KP understands. This is the first I've heard about her being interested in pharmacology, though. Shh! A little flattery can go a long way when you're stealing or trying to get information. Well then, Miss Delicious, there's something I would like to ask of you. Fee! No could do! I just can't change names I've already decided on! Ah, <sighs> what great thief of all people to have their thoughts stolen like this. <laughs> Looks like it didn't get you very far. Oi! Okay, none there. I'm surprised that you can make a lamp out of Vauxhall. Yeah, see, it's weak against water, but strong against fire. It's pretty sturdy, you know? Almost like a Pokemon. So uh, sturdy, it can be used as a murder weapon. Yes, that's right, isn't it? The reason the Vauxhall lamp was broken was because it was used as a murder weapon. But then I wonder why the other Vauxhall lamp was also broken. Okay, nothing here. Oh, didn't Gregory have a different badge? Yes, my father was a defense attorney and I chose a different path than my father. Ah, well I see. So that's how it is. It can't be helped, eh? Since you're at that age. But uh, when you get a bit bigger, I'm sure you'll understand that your father loved you. Hmm. Because everyone goes through the rebellious phase. There's no reason to be ashamed about it. 
What? I didn't become a prosecutor because I was in a rebellious phase. Oi! Well, that thing you got there is rather cute, Miley. But uh, the color is rather unappealing. Now, if I were to coat it with a fresh cream. Stop it. Oh, yeah, I, I just said that twice. My bad. Okay, just going through evidence. It's true. I know how to make the poison gas. But, uh, even if you know how to fire a gun, it doesn't mean you actually shot one, right? I haven't actually decided that you're the criminal yet, though. I may be a great thief, but that doesn't mean I would commit evil deeds. And I may be a pastry chef, but that doesn't mean I can make desserts. Well, that's because you're a fake pastry chef. Okay, nothing there. Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? P, I'm not gonna give any information to someone who calls it the dirty rag. Then would it be better if I called it a washcloth? P, wrong again. The flesh of cloth. Ah, oopsie. Well, that was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about this flesh of cloth. All right, well, we got something out of that. And that was the last piece, of, well, second to last piece of evidence. So, fluorescent cloth. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I had no choice. Since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating around in the fountain. And right after that, I was called to the Autumn Palace. So, that's the moment Larry captured in his so-called sketch of beauties. Well, at first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths had given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give her four fluorescent cloths as a present to this museum? Uh, there were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Anna Palace, right? So, uh, that's when I realized... Well, that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Hmm. The poison gas put out because someone had stolen my megatoxin egg. So I thought the fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But, I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress is a good for your figure after all. I'm starting to think Delicia had no hand in any of this. 18 years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body? Press the cloth data update in my organizer. Given a cape by Delicia, the cloth that vanished 18 years ago is found floating in the fountain. Alright, well, we've done everything with her. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're gonna have to talk to Katie here. And we're gonna have to show her um, the fact that she did know how to make the Mega Toxin Act because it's in the Angel's Recipe book. So, we'll do that next episode. Thank you for everything, my friends. I love you all so very much. And uh, come join us again in our blind Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigation 2. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.